Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example deals with calorimetry. And in this case, we're going to pour molten lead into an iron cast. There's 90 grams of lead at a temperature of 327.3 degrees centigrade, which is the melting point of lead. So it's right at the melting point. It's in a liquid form. We pour it into the iron cast. The iron has a mass of 300 grams and an initial temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. Notice here we have the specific heat of lead, the specific heat of iron, and the latent heat of fusion for lead because the lead is going to go from a liquid into a solid state. We're going to use the principle that all the energy lost by the hot items equals all the energy gained by the cold items. And if we're going to do that, we not, must make sure that all the terms in the equation are positive. And that's a really important aspect of this particular method of solving the calorimity problem. So what's losing heat? Well, it's the hot lead. So in this case, we're going to have the mass of the lead times the latent heat of fusion of lead as lead goes from a liquid to a solid, depositing heat into the iron, plus the mc delta t, which is the hot lead losing temperature and cooling down as the iron heats up. And that's going to be equal to, let me put in the lead here, let me put in lead so we're not confused, and that equals the heat gained by the iron, the MC delta T of the iron. So now, let's put in some specifics. I guess I didn't need to put that little line there. There we go. Okay, so M times the latent heat of fusion for lead, that stays the same, plus the mass of the lead, times the specific heat of the lead, times the change in the temperature. Now it's going to start at 327.3 and end up with the final cooling, cooler temperature. So I'll write the initial minus the final temperature because that gives me a positive quantity. Now here, that is equal to the mass of the iron times the specific heat of the iron times the change in the temperature, which is T final minus 20. Notice I reversed over there because I know that the final temperature is going to be warmer than the, than the initial temperature and I want to end up with a positive quantity. So notice you write the delta T in such a way that each case you get a positive quantity. Let's plug in the rest of the information that we have. So the mass of the lead is going to be 0.09 in kilograms times the latent heat of fusion which is 23,000. I'll leave off the units to make the equation a lot cleaner plus the mass of the lead, which is again 0.09, times the specific heat of the lead, which is 130, times 327.3 minus the final temperature, that equals the mass of the iron, which is 0.3, times the specific heat, which is 470, times the difference between the final temperature and the initial temperature, like that. And now all we have to do here is solve that equation for T final. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, let's see here. We can put T final on the other side. That makes it positive. So I'm going to calculate some of these values to make them a little bit easier to work with. So 0 0.09 times 23,000 equals. So that gives us 2,070. So that's 2,070 plus. Multiplying this together, we get 0 0.09 times 130 times 327.3. That gives us me, let's see here, 3,829. So plus 3,829 minus 0 0.09 times 130, 11.7 uh, T final equals. On the other side, we get 0.3 times 470. That's 141 T final minus, multiply it times 20, we get minus 2820. Okay, now let's move all the terms with T final to one side, all the numbers to the other side, so end up with 2070 plus 3829 plus 2820. 20 equals 141 T final plus 11.7 T final. We're going to reverse the equation, add up all the terms. So adding these together, we get 152.7 T final 
equals on the other side 2070 plus 3829 plus 2820 that gives us 8719 and then when we divide both sides by 152.7 divide by 152.7 we get 57 centigrade degrees or degrees centigrade there we go so the final temperature of the lead and the iron at the end will be 57 degrees centigrade is that too hot to touch i think you can touch it momentarily it being metal you may need to be careful you might burn yourself but at least there you go that is how we solve a problem like that